Ah, welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Project Zomboid. And uh, today we are gonna be working on the roof and also building out the coolest game lounge in the entire world. Sadly, the rain is still somehow getting into my house. I don't know exactly how that works, but I'm hoping that changes kind of soon. Sorry, I have really bad allergies right now, but before we get sidetracked, what we need is timber. And we know exactly where we get our timber. My buddy Steve. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot the trolley. Oh, Samuel, you are the gift that keeps on giving, I swear. So we're probably going to need a few hundred logs in order to uh, actually build out the balcony, which is going to require a few trips. Though the one good thing is that uh, with each trip, we can carry around seven logs. We we'll might as well do this for the rest of the day, and if we have extra planks, that just means we don't have to run all the way back and forth over and over again. A one, a two, and a three, which gives us around 122 planks to work with. It's not going to take as much as the roof, but it still is going to take quite a bit. And I think we have enough to actually get this done and done correctly. So we're going to wait till the next morning in order to do this so things are a little bit brighter. So I'm going to go take it easy for a bit, maybe have a nice bite to eat and um i guess i'll see y'all in the morning okay well i know i'm a little bit inebriated and extremely tired but one more thing i actually want to do before we decide to call it a day is grab this red paint here and uh one of you geniuses said that i could just paint a red up arrow where it originally was here and it'll just blend in completely you know what that works it's a lot less noticeable what a what a what a genius strategy okay now we can uh we can go to sleep. Bam! It's 6.30, we woke up at a perfect time. It's a real chilly day out, and uh, I think it's about time we finish off this rooftop. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. And so what we're gonna be doing for this whole little trip here is going into here and surrounding the entire rooftop with these beige fences. This is the whole reason why I used white, because it just, it blends pretty damn seamlessly together. And I think it'll give my building a lot more character to it you know make it feel less of a big block of cheese <laughs> all right so uh this is gonna take a bit but it shouldn't be that long at all i'll see y'all when i'm done nice and voila now we have this roof completely surrounded by fences which not only increases the aesthetic ability of this place but it also prevents me from launching myself off the rooftop and dying horribly, which is very nice. And we do have four leftover planks here, plus another six. So before we continue any further, what I'm going to do is actually build in a nice little guardrail right down here. So we prevent ourselves falling as well. This is the closest to safety we're ever going to get. So uh, get used to it. All right. So we're just going to be, you know, walling this nice little spot off, making it look as nice as possible. And I think it looks fan freaking tastic. Check it out. Safety. Actual rail so I don't break my legs in a freak accident. Oh, can you believe it? But bam, we're not even halfway through the day and we've already gotten done with a pretty monumental task. Now we need to, uh, we need to pay a visit to our neighbor again. Because up next on my agenda is completing this bar. And we need more lumber. Lumber is the start and end to our construction goals and and let's just say we might have to move on to our other neighbor matthew should we chop down the entirety of this forest for now the logs are plentiful and supplied for now the logs are plentiful and common though so we don't have to worry about that until later kind of like burning through fossil fuels you know you don't really notice it until it um till it's all gone and oh my is ignorance bliss but damn I'm actually really excited to finally get this place looking nice. So let's go saw up these logs here. All 10 of these bad boys, and that should be more than enough planks for us. I mean, yeah, we got 34 of them bad boys. How could it not be enough, you know? So let's install our nice pool table to begin with. Right here, right here. Beautiful spot for it. Bam. Now that we got the pool table down, let's, uh, let's paint this entire place and plaster it. We're going to be going for a nice, smooth, clean black. But first, we got to plaster it white. Bam! All right, now we're gonna dunk on it with the black paint. Bam! Boom! Ba -ba -da -ba Bam! Woo! Now we are missing a little bit of fine wood flooring here, but I have a small suspicion we're gonna be able to make this work, and I'll show y'all in a second. But that looks pretty damn nice. 
Now that we're done with that, what we can do is uh, go and grab our bar counters. We got a crap ton of them, bad boys. This is going to require multiple trips, but uh, it should be pretty damn worth it. Let's place the painting there. We can always change it as well. And it looks to be the fact that we can't actually place this bar wall because it only faces the left side. Oh, that kind of sucks. We should have other bar walls, right? Don't tell me all these face just one random direction. Oh, I can't rotate them. That's gross. No, it all just faces one direction. What, what kind of... Hold on. It's, it's, it's not lost yet, boys, okay? All we gotta do is move on over to plan B. Get it? B for building? <laughs> Oh no, boys, um, there is no bar counters here. Well, 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 well. Oh, that, that, that sucks so hard. What the hell? For some inexplicable reason, this ain't working out. You know what? That's fine. I, I, I guess we're gonna have to go to Riverside real quick. All right, 20 minute adventure. Let's go to sleep and let's hit the ground running. We, we're not wasting any time right now. So actually, I will grab my generator, and this will make sense very soon. Yoink. All right, let's get going. We, we're wasting daylight right now. I'll be right back home. Oh, that's a tree. That's a tree. Oh, gosh. Ah, uh, well, it'll be fine. We just gotta hurry this up. Let's go. Right now. You know, I'll be real with you, Chief. I really wasn't expecting this one at all. But you know the rules, and so do I. A full commitment is what I'm thinking of. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> I just want to tell you how I'm driving. <laughs> Gotta make you understand. Never gonna give it up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and desert you. Anyways, let's say hello to the real bar taps we need. Because this one faces the right direction. Can you believe it? Bam. Please tell me I can place this correctly. Oh, we can. That's what it's all about. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, I needed that so badly. I, I was extremely worried, but I can always rely on good old fashioned Riverside to give me what I need, including copious amounts of zombies. Oh my God, that's a lot, dude. Give me one moment, please. Okay, now I'm ready. I equipped my bar as a secondary, so now we can dispose of these damn things correctly. Ha! If you think it's gonna be that easy to take out your boy, you're dead wrong. I, I've killed gods, you know. And if you think you're gonna get between me and my damn bar counters, you're wrong. Okay, let's go grab the other two and get on over to the gas station as well, because we are actually running low and I'd like to fill up everything before we leave. Trash can would look pretty nice. I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be taking this. Just like how I take these lives away in a split second. Ba ba okay, one broke, which, um... Sucks eggs. That, that, that sucks a lot, actually, but I, I can work with two. That, 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 that's, that's workable. You know, I, I, can, I, can, I can work around this now. Let's just drop these two damn things off, and let's see if there's any other cool little uh, trinkets in here. Ooh, we got another trash can. You know what? I like those a lot. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give and while you're at it, how about you give me uh, the this, this, this sink as well? Thank you. Oh, it brokey. I guess it is because I'm just built to destroy. I mean, do you see how fast I throw those out? It's insane, man. Anyways, we got everything cool here. Let's head up to the market now and see if we can get anything else. Gosh dang it. But after we kill this horde. Also, I just want to uh, put emphasis on the fact that Bobby doesn't get scared anymore. Before, at the start of the series, we would panic even when seeing five zombies. But we've killed so many and we've survived so long that our natural fear tolerance has actually gone up, which is a really cool feature that I do love in this game. And I hope to see more dynamic trait things like it. It's, it's just really damn cool. What can I say? Anyways, ah, we got another one. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? I'll be real. I think it's time for them to teach me a lesson. God dang it. Where are y'all coming from, dude? That they are just, where are they actually coming from? All right. All right, this is a, this is a, this is a code red, man. And not like the Mountain Dew flavor either. Oh, what did I do to deserve this? I did nothing wrong. <laughs> okay, okay, let's just get, oh my God. What is going on? There's no alarm. I don't think I'm, do I smell that bad? Because it feels like all of y'all are coming all the way from China to get me right now. What the hell? 
Remember when things were normal and I didn't have to deal with this goddamn many? I don't. Well, let's just uh, take a little bit of a chill pill. You know, uh, I, I won't be able to take one for long, but I do need an extra weapon right now. You know what? A saucepan. It'll work. Oh my! What the hell? There's at least a hundred zombies here. I wanted this to be simple. I... Yeah, you know what? No, no, fuck this. Fuck this. We're leaving. Fuck this. You don't pay me enough money to deal with this bullcrap. Uh-uh, uh-uh. We're gonna go up to the gas station, though, because I still need stuff. But look at this! Where did they come from? What the hell? Okay, I'm gonna go to the gas station, and we're gonna try to uh, defend the place. I hope that that big horde doesn't follow me. I just really need gasoline right now. All right, that's a more manageable horde. Oh man, I am not having a good day. I just, <laughs> 20 minute adventure, right guys? Uh, bro, I'm straight up not having a good time, yo. <laughs> All right, we did it. We cleared out the gas station. It took us a couple of saucepans and a little bit of ingenuity, but we did it. We also have ourselves some more cigarettes and uh, lighters, which is nice, and an assortment of food. And a really cool little, like, you know, little snack area that we can use later. All right, but the main reason why I actually did this is because we were running low on gasoline, and I really don't want to, uh, be without it. And let's go ahead over to our truck now. That should be most of the zombies in the area, and if it isn't, I'm probably gonna cry. It takes a lot of work, man. But you know what they say. It's about drive. It's about power. We stay hungry. We devour. And voila! We got ourselves working power. And more importantly, a working gas pump. So let's go turn our truck around here and uh, fill it up. We'll also fill up our second car, though. Honestly, I might grab another. Nah, there aren't any cars around here, actually. I would have really liked another one, though. Oh, there is one up there, but I really don't want to fight any more zombies. Especially that whore down there. We've, we've already killed enough. We have enough blood on our hands. Let's just take this calm so I don't detract half the town. So all we gotta do is slowly drift on in like this and make sure that both cars are accessible to the pump so we can get double the gas, okay? Just like that, that's perfect. Let's make sure no one heard the commotion. We're good, and let's fill it up. I mean, it's gonna be worth it. You know, having a nice excess of gasoline is perfect, and having double the cars means double the gas. Okay, we got the first one filled up, and another thing I want to do is uh, go into the mechanics of this. Oh, we don't have a hood. Ooh, that hood's not looking good, brother. And now that we gassed up everything, let's uh, let's also fill up the generator all the way as well. Why not? Why the heck not? But we don't need this thing anymore, so let's turn it off, add some fuel to it, and pick it back up and use it for later. Oh, you are the gift that keeps on giving, generator. You can stay rotting shotgun for as long as ye want. Okay, now that that's done though, let's go uh, let's go grab all the food inside this place. I mean, come on, orange soda, gum, peppermint. I'm not gonna pass that up. And I'm also going to be taking this, uh, this little snack corner thingy as well. And these counters, these counters are going to look great. The hot dog machine, even better. Oh yeah, I'm going to be able to utilize a bunch of this stuff. Yo, is that the Defile de Samba parade? Oh, we got food for days as well. Oh, we were running low. This is, all right. Uh, there's not a lot of cool furniture, but I definitely will be taking the counters. And I also will be taking this ice box here. The popsicle fridge. That's gonna look really f awesome in the garage area. Matter of fact, a lot of this is gonna look red. <laughs> now, we don't have that much space, but we we'll might as well make this as useful as a trip as possible, and we're probably gonna need to uh, navigate back to our base in the middle of the night. We've taken everything, though, so let's take that beautiful hot dog machine, that shop dispenser, and some of these fossil oil counters. If it doesn't break on me, of course. <laughs> I'm hoping we have enough space for it, but overall we should. Yeah, we got enough space. Who am I kidding? Let's also take that trash bin because it is, uh, it is aesthetic. And we'll finish it off with some more counters here. Around like two more. That should be enough for us. And you know what? While we're at it, how about we, uh, look for some cool stuff at the police station as well? I mean, if anything, we could just take the doors. But let's see here, you know? Ooh, we also got a water dispenser and we do have a desk. 
I would actually want one of these bad boys really bad. And is that a nightstick? That's actually going to be pretty damn good of a weapon. We're upgrading, folks. Before we continue, we should probably just make sure that this place is clean and clear before we uh, decide to do anything stupid here. Like this! Hello there, sirs and sirdettes. Have you come to receive justice at the hand of my nightstick? I believe so. Have at thee, you buffoons. If you think you can take me on, you're dead wrong. Come on. Whoa, bingo. Nice. <laughs> Give me that watch as well. Yeah. Now's about time. I think we go ahead and take some cool stuff out of here. Any more nightsticks? Up? Ooh, we got another one. You know what? Those are good weapons. Those are fantastic weapons. Oh, there's also a pistol in here. You know what? Uh, we'll, we'll leave that. We're not really much of a gun type of person anyways. We, we would just end up disappointing ourselves. But I will take this office desk and this office chair and maybe a couple filing cabinets because that's going to look great. Ooh, that trash can as well. We, we'll might as well just take everything, okay? I'll, t I'll take your entire stock. Give me that filing cabinet as well. Listen, we're here for a good time and a long time. Both of those things. We will just shove all of the stuff we've gotten so far into our seat bag here. And we'll might as well stay the night in the police station. I will see y'all in the morning. Okay, it's the morning. We got some cool stuff. Let's get on out of here now. The trip back's probably going to be pretty boring, so I'll see y'all when we get back and we can finally finish the bar and call it a day. Well, we're back. And now we can finally finish what we started. So let's grab our hard-earned gains here. We'll drop off everything later. But for now, I just really want these two bar walls. We're going to place them down. We're going to make this place look freaking nice. And then we can finally go to sleep. Gosh, that, that took a lot longer than I was expecting, though. Anyway, it's all worth it, though. You know, that that that's one thing. We got two of these bad boys. I would have liked three, but... Beggars really can't be choosers, all right? Bada-bam, bada-boom. Looking great. And now what we can do is grab these planks here and build up some of these counters. Never mind, we need carpentry level 10. Okay, that's fine. We can just pay a quick little visit here, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This'll, this'll work just fine. Give me these damn... Give me these bar counters now. And give me these stools as well. I need it, okay? I, I need it bad. And 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 that mounted deer trophy. Okay, that's it. Let's get going now. Maybe we grab one more bar as well. Uh, I, I need help. <laughs> I need help so bad. Okay, we've made it. Let's get it now. I will assure you this place is going to look fantastic by the time I'm done with it, damn it. Just like that. And let's move this pool table down by one. Beautiful. All right, let's place these other two down now. Bam, bam. I like that little corner a lot. I think this is all we really need for a, for a bar situation. Beautiful. We're just going to leave a... Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll shove a counter in there just so, so it looks like we have alcohol. We'll be moving some of the stuff later down. I just I just want the aesthetic to be there. Dirty rags will work as well. Let's place bar taps down as well now. Oh, gosh. These are also directional. What the hell? That's tariff. That's terrible. But the good thing is we actually do have the right direction ones. Gosh, this is, this is, this is brutal, man. Well, here we go. We got real bar taps. Boom. Bingo. Another thing I want to do is actually pick up the floors behind here because you can barely see them. And we'll be able to use this for um, other means as well. AKA, the floors right here. Bam, bam, bam. Up next, we can take things a little bit slower and we can, uh, you know, make it look a little, little bit more lived in. And of course, I think we go for a nice American flag and a lakeside painting as well. I think those two are going to look fantastic. We can finally use some of the stuff we've been, uh, Keeping up here all so long. American flag goes in the corner here. Lakeside painting. Right there. Boom. There we go. That looks pretty damn epic. And last but not least, we get the m -m 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 mini fridge. Right here. Somewhere in the corner. Right there. That's a good spot for it. Okay, that allows us to still access the place. Let's finish it off with this arcade machine right here. This was meant to be up there the entire time. Bada bam. Oh. Doesn't that- this looks good. This looks comfortable. This looks great. I love this so much. Yeah. 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 I think we're done here. Oh, hell yeah. It's finally come together. <laughs> There's a little bit of scuff here and there. Honestly, what I'm going to do right now is grab this one plank. We didn't use any planks in this, by the way. But I'm happy with the final result of this place. Let's just uh, do a nice, like, kind of brownish wood floor so it looks a little bit more blended in with- Oh, one more thing I forgot. We got a pool cue stand here. You need that if you're going to be playing pool. So maybe we drop this here. And instead of leaving the lakeside painting down that way, we're going to leave this incognito one. Eh, no, I think we can go without it. I think it'll look fine without it. We, we can find another spot for the lakeside painting. I think this is a good final result. 
It looks really damn nice. Let's equip our trolley and take away all the trash and we can look at it in a better light. We'll leave the planks upstairs for now. Yeah, because we still need to work on the rooftop a bit. But damn, I'm, I'm genuinely happy with how this went. And I think we might be able to vajangle one more flooring. Just one. There we go. Okay. And we'll place it where this is here. Boom. Nice. Check it out, guys. Ain't this a cool freaking little game lounge. <laughs> Yes! Alright, I'm feeling really damn good about this. If you guys have liked this episode, be sure to like, favorite, share, subscribe for more, and hopefully next time we can build out the home theater a bit, and then after that, we can uh, work on the second story a bit more. I, I am really happy with this game bar, though. I'm happy that I struggled to get this all. It looks so damn nice. Anyways, I'll see y'all in the next one. Have a damn good day. Peace out, everyone.